else owns a JL or a G JT and is getting the sweet lights that comes on. Service axle locker system. Wow, perfect timing. So this came on, and I also get this flashing light right here. So here's the thing, guys. This light came on on the highway doing 70 miles an hour, wasn't in four wheel drive, no buttons were touched, and it just came on. So I did a lot of research and found out that in, in since they've come out in 2019, 2020, uh, I have a 2022. This is a very common problem with the JL and the JT, uh, where there is a sensor in the rear axle that senses whether your locker is on or off. And that sensor goes bad through whatever gets metal shavings on it, um, uh, whatever it may be. Now, there was a, the old fix was to replace the axle altogether. And I have just re-geared less than five months ago, so 10,000 miles ago. Uh, it has nothing to do with the gearing that has been put in. It is 100% just a sensor problem. Um, it's happened to people who have never touched anything with their rear ends or anything like that. And you just get, the sensor just goes bad. Common problem. So it used to be that you had to replace the entire axle. That was the fix. Was the axle housing, well, everything inside. Just a new axle. Then Jeep got a little smarter and they decided you could just replace that sensor. Um, mine is still under warranty, but because of the re-gear, they won't touch it. And so I am up shit's creek on that aspect. I kind of knew they weren't gonna do anything with it. Um, and I'm okay, I'm okay with that. I kind of knew they weren't going to. So here I am. The sensor that you can purchase for them is anywhere from, I found it anywhere from 350 is about the cheapest. That's about, well, that's about on average. I think I did find it for 330. But any way you, you look at it, it is out of stock with no lead time as to when it will be back in stock. So that's kind of a problem as well. Uh, along comes Taser and they've created a bypass for this. And so we've ordered the bypass. We're gonna get it. Uh, should be at the house right now and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, we've got the Taser. This will help fix that locker problem. So basically what this is, it is that. It is a little sensor that will plug into the locker, or plug in, yeah, plug into the sensor. And then the, the original piece will plug into this and that bypasses everything. That allows everything to work properly. So it should shut all the lights off and uh, allow the locker to function again because as of now the lockers do not function and from there um we'll see how it goes so let's go install this uh it shouldn't need any tools it should just be unplug and plug in and plug in so but i got a feeling we might need a screwdriver or something to kind of get the original one off it's kind of in bad shape so I was looking at it yesterday. It looks like it has a little crack in it. So we'll get this installed and uh, hopefully it won't take too much to get it off. Culprit right there. That's the guy we're gonna, basically we're gonna unplug that. And mine's a little bit tougher to get to than, than a lot of people's because I do have the rock crawler uh, rear triangulation bracket, which will help me get rid of the track bar. You see I'm missing a track bar there. Uh, so it's a little bit tougher to get to, but we got to pop that off and then 
this guy will then plug in there and then the other one or vice versa this one will plug in and this one will be plugged into by the original so we'll get this out of the way hopefully it just comes off nice and easy but you can see it's a little bit cleaned up i was down here looking at it yesterday and it wanted to be a bugger hole so there is a little gray clip you can see right there kind of oh there's the gray clip so we got to get that little gray clip out just like every other jeep clip and then pop it off and we should be good so i do have a leatherman here with me and we're going to just pop this little gray clip out hopefully The whole sensor came out. So, that's fine also. Alright. Get that cleaned up a little bit. Okay. So, let's take a little shiza. Shite. Okay, so this will now plug into that other one. Plug this guy into here and push the little gray clip in. That's secured in. This one will go into here. Can't see which. This looks like it's going to go this way. It goes this way. Looks like it goes that way now. Snap that clip in. Okay, and then I will get this zip tied up here so it doesn't come into a lot of problems there that will get zip tied up there and be a little bit more clean make sure you guys can see that so here this is going to get zip tied up to this breather tube and just cleaned up but let's uh let's pop out and uh let's see what happens when we turn it on so hopefully if everything is hooked up correctly once I hit this button, start it up. We should have no locker signals. Okay, so that's good. Yourself in some way, shape. That's good. The blinking light down here is good. Now I can go front lock or rear locker. Tells me my rear locker is engaged. We hit the off. 
Rear axle lock in progress, rear axle unlocked. Super easy. Um, definitely something I would recommend. Um, if you have it, it's definitely a, a nice option. I'll link the one that I bought in the description. Um, it's way cheaper than the OEM sensor to replace. Way easier to replace. Um, you still get the use of the factory on and off switch in your Rubicon uh, for the locker and it's just way easier. I just better than replacing a whole axle. That wasn't an option for me since I have the re gear. And then they weren't going to touch it anyways be, as far as the warranty is concerned. But because of that, so this was kind of my best option. And it works great. So we'll see how far it goes and looks like everything's engaging okay. And uh, I'll drive it for a few days and test it out and we'll let you know. All right, so it's been about two weeks now since we replaced the uh, locker bypass, the Taser one. Uh, and it has ran absolutely beautifully. Um, there's been no issues with it. It hasn't come back on. The lockers work great. They still tell me when they're on and when they're off. The slight catch with it is as soon as you turn it off, whether it's disengaged or not, it'll say it's off. So you do have to kind of feel it as you before you just take off down the road uh, but other than that it works absolutely great and I couldn't be happier right now so so yeah other than that things have been great and uh, thanks to everybody for watching my videos uh, hopefully you're enjoying them hopefully you're finding some good out of each and every one that you watch so